Hi, good morning. This is Dr. Albert Chung, and welcome to your friendly proctologist. I'm so glad you came to join me today in this uh, talk, and I hope you get something out of it or even relate to one thing or two. One question that I'm asked pretty frequently is, why are your consultations one hour? I mean, when I go somewhere else, uh, the consultation maybe lasts at most, maybe half an hour. Well, I'll tell you that number one, I like to be different, but I've thought long and hard about how long a consultation regarding the issues that I see should take. And I believe it will come to the benefit of myself but also, of course, especially you, the patient. Let's go through the five top reasons why I believe it's so important and why they are, uh, the consultation length is what it is. So number one, it takes time to open up. And I mean that in terms of you, the patient, coming here and being open to talk about your inner dark secrets, um, things that you've never uttered a word about before out loud, right? These topics are quite scary to even think about. So let alone speaking, having those words ring out in your ears is something totally different. But I wanna give people the time to ease into things, not feel pressure to say everything in a matter of 30 seconds but give you time to process as you say these things. And so you can also expound. Next reason, number two, I wanna give you time to tell your story. I know it's true and it's the reality out there. The doctor typically gives you about 10 seconds to tell to you about each individual problem, right? Or frequently because the doctor's so behind and he sees you for about you know, 20 seconds, he's in and out of the room, is such in a hurry, he writes down a thing or two and is out of here, makes prescriptions and boom, done. But I feel that these stories that you people come in here with have quite a bit of a backstory. And when things are as traumatizing as like pain or bleeding in the bottom end, you want to tell about or talk to me about every single episode and it's not that it's you know you're neurotic or you're trying to just um you know be give me the deepest darkest details of your life it's because everything feels important to you um, because you want me to be able to get all the information down correctly to give you the correct treatment and so i want you to feel that you can tell me all these things. And of course, I'm taking note and dialing in my diagnosis and therapies as well. Number three, I draw pictures. I like to talk to you and educate you about what's going on. So for example, here I've got my tablet. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. So. Oh. You can see that I've got pictures of the anatomy here. I've got a bottom end. I've also got a rectum here and I draw a lot. And it's so that you can directly see um, what's on your bottom end, what's going on internally in your anatomy. And I find that people enjoy this, but also find such great benefit to understanding their body, which is the whole point because ideally, I don't want people to keep seeing me for the rest of their lives. I want people to be educated so that they can treat their bodies in a way that agrees with their, um, whether it's hemorrhoids or fissure, or what have you. And the more you know, the more empowering it is, uh, even emotionally. So when the next time you have bottom end pain again, it's not as scary and you feel like you can handle things and you know we want you to know when is it a problem, when is it appropriate to keep moving forward and try and see if something works, etc. Number four, it takes time to discuss your habits. So things that you do on a daily routine with regarding your diet, regarding your bowel movements, um, 
we want to be able to talk about these issues so that we can figure out a great routine for you um, to keep your bottom end healthy. For example, stool softening. Um, getting to a point where your stools are soft on a regular basis, because we know that if you have hard stools or liquid stools, that is creating damage to your hemorrhoids and your bottom end every single time. So we also want to be able to kind of think through some of these and I give you the opportunity to also see, well, what's going to work? It's one thing to just talk about every single thing you could possibly do, but then to go that next step and say, well, now you've heard some things. What do you think is something you'd like to bring into your life? What might work or what might have the best success? Number five. The last thing is I like to go, if necessary, into your, uh, your kind of your personal issues a little bit. Sometimes getting into your work life, sometimes getting into what may be um, creating some underlying levels of stress. Um, sometimes there's changes in you know, your life where it can have an effect on your GI system. The GI system is heavily emotionally charged, or there's a lot of emotional charge within it uh, from your brain, and so it can definitely make your bowel movements and your GI symptoms react. And that takes time to do because obviously we need to develop a relationship first. No one really comes out and starts talking about you know, some of these um, deeper issues right off the bat, right? So that's the last thing that I like to do sometimes, if necessary, to try and figure out um, how to create an overarching, well-rounded so therapeutic solution for you. And those are the main five reasons of why my consultations take so long. Um, obviously, if you don't want to have the consultation last that long, that's completely your prerogative, but I like to spend the time and get to know you um, and not just look at your bottom and just take off. I want to be able to see the entire picture and I find that a lot of information, a lot of therapy can be created and plans can be created when I get to know you better and you also feel much more at home and feel like there's a personal connection that you get from me um, and feel that I'm personally invested and interested in getting you better and getting you feeling better and back to life again. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was something of value to you or just a new perspective that you found interesting. If there's anything that you want me to talk to you about, definitely leave a comment below, subscribe and smash that bell. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.